What is up guys, it's CokeWitcher here bringing you guys another commentary. Got you guys this Conquest gameplay with the M10 here on Dragon Valley. Um, pretty interesting map. Um, this map is actually for free for you guys to play. So if you guys own Battlefield 4, make sure you guys download this map, try it out. It's not that bad of a map, it's actually pretty easy to play. But, um, what I wanted to talk about is pretty much my backstory and me playing Battlefield, how I got, I got into the series and why I pretty much stuck with it for a while. Um, so, I think it was the summer of 2010, so this is right when MW2 was out, when I just, I was at GameStop, right, and this is back then where I didn't really, like, watch a shit all the game chillers to get put onto games, like, nowadays, like, if I see a game that looks pretty interesting, I'll just go on YouTube, look up gameplay, see if I want to buy it or not, but... You know, back then, you go to GameStop, look at the game case and stuff like that, and if the game case looked really good, then you'll buy the game. Which, sometimes it worked out, sometimes it didn't, but, um, this time it really worked out. So, on the back of the case, this is, like, the craziest thing. On the back of the Bad Company 2 case, it said that, um, this game is better than Model Warfare 2. Like, it said that, like, oh, it is better than Model Warfare 2. I'm like, oh, shit, it's better than Model Warfare 2. And I used to play a lot of Model Warfare 2 back then, so... I decided to pick up the game. The game was on sale anyways, and I needed, like, another shooter to play, so I was like, why not? So, um, I picked up that game. A couple of my friends picked up the game as well, and we just started playing Conquest like crazy in that game. And, like, one of the best moments that I've ever had on Battlefield, period, was when my friend was piloting. He was piloting a helicopter, right? He was flying the helicopter, and me and my friend was rocking engineer inside the helicopter repairing it. And... Another helicopter is like right behind us shooting at us and as soon as like you know, you guys know how like in Battlefield you can see the percentage like the health for your um, vehicles and stuff like that. As soon as it was like 3% health we just hopped out and my friend was still in the helicopter and while we're parachuting out the helicopter he just blows up in the helicopter like it was just absolutely ridiculous like that is the best moment I've ever had on Battlefield playing the game. And, like, I've had, like, many great moments after that, but, like, that's, like, the most memorable moment. And, like, that's the reason why I pretty much fell in love with Battlefield is because it provided a unique experience that I've never had with any of the first-person shooter ever. And each first-person shooter um, offers its own unique experience, but the experience that Battlefield gives me is, like, um, something that's very enjoyable. I love playing Battlefield. I love the, um, the realism. Now, not everything about Battlefield is realistic, but, like, um... The, the correlation that it has to real life warfare, the things that it has within the game, from the guns, because, because because there's a lot of variety within the weapons. That's one of the things I enjoy about playing a game like Battlefield is that you get to experiment with a whole bunch of different weapons and loadouts and um really really experiment and see like what fits your playstyle the best. And it's just good to see like how there's so much variety within the game and you know the different vehicles within the game different weapons um just different type of grenades and shit like that that you get to use within the game and stuff like that so um your loadout is just specific to you and what you want to do within the game um this is like so much to the game everything from assault to engineer to support to recon and different things like that so um it provides a lot of depth that's pretty much what i'm trying to say is that battlefield has a lot of depth to it um there's not a lot of games out here nowadays that provide that kind of depth that can keep you immersed within the game for long periods of time and make you want to play the game even longer. So, um, that's one thing that I love about Battlefield is that Battlefield has a lot of depth within this multiplayer. Um, there's a lot of things to do within the maps. There's still things that I never knew you can do on certain maps that you can do now. Um, Levolution. Levolution is something that can really change the dynamic of a map and your approach to it because of how um how the map is changed through evolution and we're gonna see a lot more of that within battlefield one um we've seen some of it with that map that has that big flying like airplane air balloon plane that just falls in the middle of the map and just like changes like everything so it's just insane um caesar shanghai which is one of my favorite um my favorite moments of Levolution within the game is when um, that skyscraper just falls down and just like destroys like um, everything mid-map. So yeah, Battlefield is just like a very unique experience. I guess a lot of people don't like to get into this series is because um, 
it's a it's a little bit of a learning curve like you have to like pick up on the game and understand um what to do and pretty much understand what kind of weapons you need to use to be successful like um it, it's all dependent on the kind of style of play you play first person shooters if you play passive you might want to use more of a support engineer type class and if you're more of like a hybrid rusher um camping in the skies type dude then you might want to um use your um assault class with medic and stuff like that so um there's just so much different things you can do within the game strategies so much strategies that can be used um so i'll be explaining the strategies i use more in the further video my previous video i explained to you um some of the strategies i use within conquest but that isn't even a half of it because there's a lot of things um that goes into play in battlefield so um make sure you guys stay tuned i will actually be posting a, a halo 4 video soon um i've been playing some master chief collection there's been some updates with halo 5 i haven't played halo 5 in a minute so hopefully i get back on that game and play that for a little bit also so uh, make sure you guys subscribe for some more first person shooter content i'm still going to be playing cod and providing you guys some call through the gameplay so stay in tune for that and leave a like guys and i'm out peace